Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we will be taking a look at Endurance Racing Michael Roeder from the 2021 Cars Diecast line, more specifically the Walmart exclusive Radiator Springs 24 hour racing series aka the Endurance Racing series. This release is pretty cool. Uh, I unboxed it in my Giga Unboxing video a while back. And uh, I just gotta say, I love the colors of this guy. Um, getting right into it, we'll go over his uh, color shift, which is a kind of like a light blue to like a light purple. And it looks really good in my opinion. The light purple kind of reminds me of something like a vinyl two-page last tank coat racer. It looks really nice. Um, with the view zine blue and then the orange accents. It just, it looks really nice. Um, obviously this is a non-canon die cast, so there's nothing to compare him to in terms of on-screen um, accuracy, but we'll compare him to his other die cast in just a little bit here. But first, let's go over his decals, because, you know, the endurance racers tend to emit certain decals sometimes. So starting on the front, he does have all of his decals here, the headlights, grill, the vents down here, his expression, he's just kind of uh, pissed off. Neutral, pissed off expression, you know, typical for next ends. On the hood, he's got Vuzine here, uh, orange, uh, kind of stripe going around the hood. And the VZ, which is present on his normal and beach racing diecast, on the hood is not present. Um, moving on to the roof, he's got the number 39. A stripe going down the roof cone current to it and one starting after it. So you still get the asymmetrical stripes up there. Um, and on his spoiler, he's got the RS 24 Hours logo with the uh, stopwatch slash speedometer on the, his uh, spoiler. Under the side, his rims don't have the silver rim trim that his normal release has. And I'm fairly certain he's missing a lot of other decals too, which we'll get into in a second here. Uh, also, pardon the background noise. If there's wind, I apologize. It is very windy where I'm at right now. Um, anyway, contingency sponsors. Pissing up combustor carbon cyber synergy. Very clear and easy to read. Good on Vietnam for that. 39 in an orange kind of uh, three-fourths rectangle design, kind of like on the hood here. Um, with Vuzine VZ on the side next to it. And not much else to talk about. I mean, he's got a gas cap there. But other than that, not much else to talk about. Besides, of course, his uh, arrow indicating the pit crew where to lift him up at and his exhaust. Moving on to the rear, he's got VZ, Vuzine, taillights, and 39. No rookie stripes, of course, because this isn't his rookie year. And on the right side, it's the same as the left. Now, that about sums it up for the Endurance Racer, but let's get the normal Thailand version in here to compare. And right off the bat, on the sides, he's missing all that decaling back here, which is understandable because it's all over the rear bumper, you know. Um, he's also missing the decal right here on the sides of his top. Uh, this, this, these, uh, dark, uh, like, turquoise decals back here, they're not on the Endurance Racing version. And as I said, the VZ on the hood is not present. Uh, his contingency sponsors also send colors from, uh, blue to white, which is pretty interesting. I like the white ones more, to be honest. Um, also, it looks like he has, like, this kind of slightly darker stripe going down the bottom here, which is not present either. Uh, the rear bumper, basically the same, minus the rookie stripes. Spoiler is obviously different. You know, view zine here, RS24H here. Um, the stripes on the roof are fine. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything missing from this part of the roof. Just over here on the back. And as I pointed out before, the hood, right side, same as the left. And real quick, let me just get all three versions of Michael Rotor I have, which includes the beach racing version. And they look pretty good together, honestly. Um, although my favorite is definitely the endurance racing version, just because of how cool the color shift is. From the blue to the purplish pink color, it looks really good. And if you see this guy on eBay for a reasonable price, or 
miraculously at your local Walmart, even though I haven't seen Endurance Racers at mine forever, in forever, uh, pick him up. I recommend him. He's a fun diecast. Uh, that all being said, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!